Hello world, Shelly here, and it's time for another episode of Foundation Fest, and today I'm checking out a new to me brand, Mob Beauty. This is the Blurring Ceramide Cream Foundation. The foundation is a refillable packaging, so the refill is retail $23, and then this little compact that I've got it in is $5, so this is quite reasonably priced. Comes in 36 shades. I've got it in shade pink 30. Hi, Ziva, are you glad I'm home? Back from Ireland's <laughs> first week of filming while I'm back. Let's talk about this. So, while my nose is itching, Skin Care Packed Ma Beauty Blurring Ceramide Cream Foundation is a foundation and concealer hybrid that blurs and diffuses the skin with multidimensional mineral technology. Ceramide 2 holds moisture in the skin and repairs the skin barrier, while award-winning small molecule hyaluronic acid visibly plumps for hydration. She's playing with a box. Yes, she's playing with a box, my friends. Cats knock everything off the vanity. Anyway, it's got avocado oil, it's got anti-inflammatories, bisabolol, I'm probably butchering that. I don't even know if I want to attempt this other one. Phytosphingosine, haha, <laughs> calms the skin. I'm gonna have to look that one up, That's, that one's new to me. So we got anti-inflammatory, it's a unique waterless formula, it easily builds to full coverage, doesn't change color. Now. Let's talk about why this brand is awesome. Well, let me give you the other. Uh, vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, silicone-free, phthalate-free, gluten-free. Here's why the brand attracted me. I got an email from Beautylish while I was traveling about this product, and they are a clean, vegan, sustainable brand with everything in this refillable packaging. And they have different sizes of these holders, palettes, and then all of their products can interchangeably fit into these holder containers. What is the word? I don't know. Words. Challenging. We're back. We're back, folks. My brain is just not back at all. So I was pretty excited. I ordered it and now I'm home and I can actually try it. So let's take a look at shade pink 30 swatched against a few others in my collection now that I have my whole collection with me. Swatch time. First up is today's foundation from Ma Beauty, the Blurring Ceramide Cream Foundation in shade pink 30. Second I've got from Estee Lauder, the Double Wear Stay in Place in 1C1 Cool Bone. Third up is MAC Studio Sculpt in NW15. And last I've got from Wet n Wild, the Tinted Hydrator in Fair. I've already cleansed, moisturized, and sunscreened this 48-year-old face. I have primed. Now, normally I've been priming with my DIY handmade Bakuchi All Cream, which it is in stock again as I'm filming this, but it's almost out of stock again because as soon as it went back in stock, it's sold. I think I've got one left right now. Don't worry. I'm making more. We got more coming. The thing is, the Bakuchi All ingredient is not the easiest thing to source, and I can't find it in higher quantities, larger bottles, than what I'm currently buying it in. And so, anyway, also, the glass jars that I've been using have been out of stock, and I've had to order plastic. I prefer glass. I don't like putting more plastic into the world. Anyway, but I did not prime with this today, <laughs> but there's your update. Go to CorkyCreators.com or QCSoap.com. That's my website if you want to check out my Bakuchi All Cream, but that's not what I wore today. That's just an update. Today, I'm really digging moisturizer as primer. Moisturizers that have the right kind of, I would call it like dry touch, I guess, is the, the way I'd describe it. It can't be greasy if you're gonna go that route. It can't be super emollient, which is why I like my Bakuchi All Cream formula. And this is another one. If you're looking to use a moisturizer as primer kind of a thing, Jones Road has just come out with an oil-free moisturizer. It's primarily water-based, it's got niacinamide in it, it's super lightweight, great for summertime, all skin types, even oily skin, according to their claims. I, of course, cannot back that up with my own experience because I'm the most driest of the dry-skinned girls out in the world, but I will say I'm wearing it right now, and it is a dry-touch kind of a moisturizer. So watch as we blend it in. And you, you see how it's like 
almost matte finish. You know what I'm saying? There's no, there's no greasy slip. There's no, it's, it's just a good makeup primer finish. Not that you have to wear makeup with it, of course. You could just wear it on its own. You'll be good. Beautiful glass packaging. I think this is glass. Sounds like glass. Feels like glass. It's nice and heavy. I like a good something, something that's not going to be easily knocked over by the cat's tail when they're walking across my vanity. You know. You can layer it with your SPF. In this case, I would wear it over your SPF because I actually, when I do my skincare in the morning, I put my full skincare serums, moisturizer, then my standalone SPF. And then I wait at least 20 minutes before I do my makeup. So if you come on and layer it over your SPF, you'll be fine. Just give your SPF time to sink in and settle into your skin. And you'll be good to go. Oh, speaking of cat hair. Whew. Yes. So where was I? Primer. That's what I used. I'm going to go in on one side with a damp sponge. This is my biodegradable eco tool sponge. Other side, I will use a brush. My BK Beauty 101. They say you can apply this with fingertips, with a sponge with a brush any which way. Normally on a cream I would use fingertips and if the brush ends up being a little too hard to spread, sometimes I find the heat from your body will help to spread cream foundations and the moisture of a damp sponge does the same kind of a thing. But here is the packaging. I really, really like the packaging on these because it's got this little flip up piece and then there's the refill, and the refill is held in here magnetically, but you can pop by those two little magnet bars. I feel like I need to be an octopus. I need more hands. And then it pops out, and they're refillable. And all of their products fit into these containers, so you can use them and refill everything. And then you just snap it back together, and you've got your, you've got your compact. I'm impressed. That whole thing impressed me. I like I like it. I like it. It's cute. It still feels put together solid and classy. Sometimes refillable stuff feels like it's going to fall apart on me and this does not feel that way. So, let's let's dip in. We're going to start with the sponge, shall we? It was hard to choose a shade online. I couldn't tell if I was going to be going too dark or too light. But thankfully, I feel like I'm in a good place. This shade looks all right. I am going to use this as concealer. I've been doing that with my foundations anyway, but they do claim that this is a concealer slash foundation hybrid. So we might as well give it a good run for its money. It's very reasonably priced money. This is spreading very easily, so it's not a... Uh, it's not a very firm cream. It's emollient enough that it is not giving me any hassle whatsoever. <laughs> it is spreading nicely. I feel like it does have a true pink undertone to it, and I like that because they called it pink, so I expect a little pink. I ordered that intentionally. I like me a pink undertone. Oh, looking in the monitor, so this would be like conversational distance. I like this finish. I'm getting some redness correction from one side to the other. Let's look in the 10X over here. Wow, I did a bad job on getting up under my eyes, but you know, that's user error. I'm digging it, I'm digging it. It's, I would call it light medium straight out of the gate. I can still see a little bit of my sunspots poking through, but there is some coverage just happening with the sponge, so that's awesome. Let's try the brush side. I'm just gonna dip right in with the brush. I'll start with the stipple and see how we go. I don't notice any scent. Their, their whole product line is clean and vegan and cruelty free in addition to being sustainably packaged. Yeah, I think you definitely get more coverage with the brush as would be expected. Let me get my under eye going here. It's kind of hard with this brush to get into the corner. I will do that with my finger. Yeah, I think it's a little bit higher coverage immediately with the brush. 
So if coverage is what you're going for, I would go that route. I would say in terms of the overall appearance, either way looks nice. I don't think there's a benefit one way or the other. Go with what you like. If you like a sponge, do a sponge. If you like a uh, brush, do a brush. I, I think I'm just going to stick with the brush because I like coverage, but I was tempted to grab the sponge again, so I think it looks nice either way. Let's see if we can build up over these sunspots just a little bit. Yeah, even one pass building over them. The only one I'm really seeing is the darkest one, and I got a new a new one that's been popping up over here, which is great. Mm -hmm. You know, sun damage takes easily 20 years to show up on your skin. So that's everything that I did in my, I guess my late 20s, huh? Yeah. I didn't start getting religious about wearing sunscreen every day till my mid 30s. So on one hand, it's never too late. On the other hand, I curse my 20 year old self because all my sun damage is popping up now and making me sad. Let's even out the coverage on the forehead a little bit. This is definitely buildable. It's not caking up or anything like that. It's really pretty. Alright, let me take my finger to- oh, my nails are too long. Let me take my brush, and this is a Sephora concealer brush, and get in to my corners here. So whenever I'm in Ireland, my nails grow like weeds. They grow so fast. And I think it's, I drink the tap water while I'm there. You know, I just fill my water bottle and I get tap water at the restaurants. And for whatever reason, I really do think it's the water <laughs> and the humidity and the climate that is good for my dry skin. But I think the water, I think I like the water. Like my hair grows like crazy. My nails grow long and strong and I, I got freaking claws on me right now. Like claws. This is pretty as a concealer too. Okay. Okay. My beauty. I see you. I didn't deep dive into the brand itself, but I think I heard something that one of the people involved in Mob Beauty is one of the like famous famous makeup artist that was involved in uh, some of the most notorious MAC cosmetics products and that doesn't surprise me because this this is this is looking good this is looking good let's zoom in and get a look at what I'm seeing here I would say I built this up to high medium coverage I do think you could get full coverage out of this if that was what you're going for the finish I would call it, I would call it a satin matte. It's not flat, but uh, not dewy. I'm going to just pounce a, the damp sponge around and just make sure I don't have any extra product hanging out because I was trying to build up the coverage. The, it is, when built up, it is just the tiniest bit I can see the product on the skin but we'll see if that melts down a little bit as it warms up to my body temperature because it is a cream formula and that tends to happen I don't feel like I would need to powder this at all it has set down it feels it feels very lightweight it feels like nothing at all really and I'm, I'm liking how we're looking so far let's check the time the time is 310. Let me go put the rest of my face on. I will be right back. Back with the Mob Beauty Blurring Ceramide Foundation. Is it just me? Or why do we always have to sneeze right after we put mascara on? You know your mascara is wet. You're about to sneeze. You're going to get it all over the place no matter what you do. You can't keep your eyes open because your eyeballs will just pop out of your head when you sneeze. <sighs> anyway, Ugh, allergies are killing me. Literally, tangent. Flew home from Ireland. Did not take my allergy medicine the entire time I was there. Flew home. Landed. Got outside the airport. Had to sit outside for a half hour or so waiting for the ride to the hotel. And in that half hour's time, I was immediately 
sneezing and just poof. Ugh, why? <laughs> anyway, I want to live in Ireland. Why can't I live in Ireland? I want to live in Ireland. Let me live in Ireland. The, why? They, they make it so hard. Why, why can't you take me? I swear I'm a productive member of society. I, I, I swear, please. Anyway, okay, back to the mob. So the only issue I had, and it's not an issue, it's just something to be aware of, I did have to tap out excess product that was settling into my forehead lines and my smile lines and my chin lines. Once I tapped it out and my the product like warmed up to my skin, it turned into this beautiful, almost powder finish. Like it's a very smooth, blurred, just smooth finish. I really like how this set down. It set down beautifully but make sure you tap out any extra product. You saw right before we cut that, who's we, I don't know, <laughs> me and Ziva. You saw before we cut that I felt like I had to take a sponge and tap away excess product. So that's, that's a thing. Make sure you do that if you don't want it to move around. Make sure you get rid of the excess. So that was that. Everything else went swimmingly, as you see, on my face. Okay, Lawless came out with these, there's two different shades, Summer Skin Vacation Glow Multi Stick. It's like a face and body stick. Now, I am filming this on the only 70-ish degree day of the entire week. It's supposed to be 89 degrees tomorrow and 88 the day after and 86 the day after, like... Of course I'm filming on the gloomiest day, so I don't have this all over my body, but I did use it for my bronzer. Now it is shimmery, so if you are avoiding shimmer on your face for texture issues, whatever, that's a thing. But it's gorgeous, a little screw top top, and let me get, I keep the little protector on here. I eventually get tired of it and throw it away, but I try to be good in the beginning because it does protect it. And see, I just wrecked it myself. I'm just bad. There's a little body buffer brush that you can get with it. I just think this stuff's really cute. And I only used it on my face, but it's got a nice bronze and shimmer to it. Like, but it's not straight up glitter. Like, I don't see any glitter chunks whatsoever. There's no visible glitter, but you can buff this on your decollete, buff it on your arms, on your shoulders. Heck, I'm just gonna buff it on my hands, cause it does look real. I don't know. Oh, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna move into tattoo territory. We are just gonna bronze up the visible part of my arm a little bit. Why not? You know, I did get a new tattoo while I was in Ireland, so this arm is now that forearm is done anyway. And my plan for the next tattoo is probably, I don't know if my sleeve will go up. So I have a tattoo up here, an owl, cartoon owl, and then this part right above my elbow is blank. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I took this picture of wildflowers in Galway this year that was so gorgeous it just blew my mind. And so I think I'm gonna have that turned into wildflowers with bees and butterflies, and then have one of the bees come down and land in my little compass here. This is uh, kind of inspired by the not all those who wander are lost. I've got that on my Jeep and I kind of uh, live by that. So that's kind of what inspired the compass. And anyway, tangents galore. This stuff is super cute. I am wearing it as my bronzer today. And yes, it is shimmery, but then you don't need highlight and it's gorgeous and it's gorgeous. And that's all I have to say about that. This is the lighter shade. There is a darker one. Thank you, Lawless. They sent me this for free, gifted in PR. I am not required to make this video. This is not sponsored. I am not paid to make this video or say good things about them. I just love them. That's it. I don't request or get on PR lists unless I already love the product, the brand, and the things that they do. Like, I don't have any need to take free product and then bash it. So I just won't use it. Or if I get something that I don't like, I'm either going to bring it into a favorites and fails and tell you I straight up don't like it, or you're never going to see it. Like, that's just how I roll. I, I have no need to take products for, and, and bash them. So I'm just not going to take it. 
you know, that's a, that's how I do. That's why I don't have a ton of sponsorships. Is I'm not gonna sponsor a bunch of or be sponsored by a bunch of unknown stuff or stuff I've never used or like it just it, I don't see a point in that. I'm not gonna take that money. There's just no point. Anyway, wow. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long. I know I filmed all the way through Ireland, but. I was filming product-based stuff. I wasn't just chit-chatting with you guys. And I feel like I haven't talked to you in forever. <laughs> so this next week or two, <sighs> bear with my tangents because I got to just get it all out. I got to get it all out and get all my get back to talking to you guys. Whew. So nobody loves makeup as much as you guys do the way I do. You know. Okay. What are we even doing here? What is this video? Uh, foundation. Oh, I was gonna tell you what's on my face. That's what I was doing. So I started with the bronzer. That is the Lawless Summer Skin. And my blush, you're not gonna be surprised. I can't quit the Lawless Watermelon. I just can't quit it. It's so good. It's like the perfect rosy color. Like, it's like, eh, whatever. And so on my eyes, well, this is my favorite brown. It's in, it's in Lawless. There's, this is not sponsored, I swear. The, this I think this came from an Ipsy, actually. The taupey shade here is one of my favorites for a very light makeup eye look because its undertone is designed to go with these cool toned purples, which goes with my complexion really well. So I'm wearing just that shade in the crease. And then I'm wearing the ColourPop Jelly Much Eyeshadows. Now, I just got from ColourPop. I don't know if they're going to keep sending me stuff, but they just sent me a bunch of their lipsticks. I'm wearing one of them right now. I'm going to make a lip swatch video. Actually, you're probably going to see that before you see this. Uh, but I'm very excited because you guys know I'm obsessed with ColourPop. I have at least a dozen ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. Like, that's probably a gross underestimate. So uh, I'm very excited. I would love if ColourPop would send me more things because I love you so much. Anyway, this is one of the jelly shadows. This is my first time trying one of these jelly shadows. The shade is Bouquet, but not like flowers, like B-O-O-K-A-Y, like boo K Bouquet, like I know, play on words, whatever. It's so, br oh, I forgot they've got this little protector thing. Keep the protector thing, it keeps the moisture in here. So it's like a gel eyeshadow, but it dries down like a normal eyeshadow. If you have sensory issues, I think you might not like this because it does feel like you're putting cold slime on your eyes. <laughs> you know the slime the kids make? It, it kind of feels like that when you apply it. I actually think it feels really cool. Like it's literally cool, like, as in temperature, it feels cool, but it also kind of feels cool. Like how often do you put something like that on your eyes? Not very often, it just, it's an interesting sensation. But if you have sensory issues, you might not like it. I think it's gorgeous. Look at how perfect it is for just like a minimal eye look, like a quick out the door thing. This might be my new go-to for a quick out the door thing because this color is like, it's like a, I don't know, pinky, pinky champagne. Uh, colors, words escaping me. Whew, there they go. Also wearing Lawless Brow. I'm wearing the ColourPop Brow Pencil. And I think I might have another shade that works for me. What do you think? Most browns are too warm toned. This is Ash Brown. This pencil, so I've been loving the Arches and Halos pencil in Espresso because it's the right color but their pencil formula is really dry and I tend to either mess up the lines because I'm trying to push too hard to get the color to come off on my skin or they break off on me. So that's a bummer, but the shade is great. That's the Arches and Halos one. This ColourPop one is more emollient so I don't have to press so hard and it's, it's a little smidge darker than the Espresso but I think it's the right undertone. This is my natural hair color here, so I think I like it. Also wearing the Lawless Brow Wax in medium to dark. I did top that with my Anastasia Brow Freeze. Get the e.l.f. one. I'm just using this up because my e.l.f. one got left in the car and melted. I'm using up my Anastasia, but I will be repurchasing the e.l.f. brow. What do they call it? Brow lift? Now I'm forgetting because it's been so long. But 
Eh, they're both good, but whatever, whatever. Urban Decay waterline pencil. My mascara is not available to the public yet. I'm testing it out. It's the new mascara. Triflex from Color Street. And my lip is one of those ColourPop. This is their Ultra Blotted Lip. And I remembered the name up until just this second. Gotta get Sherlock, what's it called? Still an icon. These blotted lips. It dries down kind of like a liquid lipstick, but it's more sheer. I don't know how to describe it. It's really interesting and I really like it because I feel like it's gonna wear very well over time because it's, I mean, it's not, ex sheer's not the right word, but it's not like full coverage like a liquid lip is. And you know the trend of just having that blotted, messy lip look? You don't have to have like a perfect lip outline or anything to wear something like this. And I like that. This, this might be like how I go back from, you know, I get into lip gloss mode because it's easy and I don't have to worry about reapplying it. If I'm busy, I don't have to worry about it. Like this might fall into that easy, don't have to worry about reapplying it kind of a category, which I like. So that that's intriguing to me. I am gonna do a whole lip swatch video. I got all these colors here to play with, but this one's beautiful and this is where we're at. So, so far so good with the mob beauty. I'm gonna go about my day. You know I'm gonna go get a sandwich. <laughs> I'm back home, of course I'm gonna go get a sandwich. Although I miss Burger Story. I would walk down to Burger Story in Galway almost every single day. It was my lunch of choice. Walk over the bridge, over the uh, River Corrib, and oh, I miss you, Galway. Anyway, I'm glad to be home also. So, gonna go get a sandwich. We will have daylight check in after that. It's so gloomy and rainy outside. We'll see, we'll see. I might have to like stand in the garage or something. We'll see. Then I will come back tonight and give you guys my final thoughts. Daylight check-in's been about three hours. And here we are. I did have to blow my nose. So that has happened. Shade match I think is good. I was all excited that I didn't get any food on my brand new white shirt. And then I saw this. What is that? I think it's lipstick. First time I've worn the shirt. This is why I don't wear white. Anyway, <laughs> I think it's holding up pretty well. I do see some of my micro wrinkles. It's not as smoothing or blurring as I anticipated based on the name. However, I do like the finish and I do like the coverage and I do like the shade match. So that's where we're at. It is 627. I'll be back tonight and we'll see how it went. 11.47 p.m. That puts us right around the eight and a half hour mark. Let's take a look. Here it is. How the Mob Beauty Foundation held up. I think this is one that might stay put a little better if I had set it with powder. I don't often set my foundations with powder, although I have been loving the new Jones Road Tinted Face Powder, which kind of has me rethinking my not setting with powder plans or habits or whatever you want to call it. I have not been setting foundation with powder for several years now, but that one's a good one. So basically what's going on? I have a little bit of settling into my, please don't scratch my chair, Ziva, please. Please, that's not nice. That's not nice. A little bit of settling into my chin lines, a little bit of settling into my forehead lines. It moves around a little bit. So at this point in the night, my chin especially, you can't really tell on my nose anymore because I had to blow my nose 500 million times today. I have not started taking my allergy medicine again since I got back from Ireland. I was hoping I wouldn't have to. Trying to take a little break before I have to go back on it for like fall hay fever season but a break does not seem like it's going to work. So 
like my chin for example it the product does that thing where it kind of like bunches up and kind of is like cakey but also moved around a little bit and that just usually on me means it's not staying put it's it's moving around a little bit so maybe that would be something you could solve setting with powder if you are into that sort of a solution. I do not feel like my skin is dry. I feel like it is well hydrated though. We are in a humid time of the year here. So I don't tend to get too dry at this point. Oh, the kitten's in here too. Oh my. Let's hope she stays there because we, we got no room here. It's Cat City and they're very excited that I'm back to filming. And they're very excited that I'm home. <laughs> This is my life. This is my life. There's only two of four. Uh, <laughs> where was I? Cats everywhere. Um, yeah, let's zoom in. Let me, let me give you guys a look at what we got going on here. So, generally speaking, the blush bonds are, is still intact for the most part. I do feel like my overall makeup kind of faded a little bit. And we're not even at the nine hour mark, so that's a little bit of a bummer in terms of longevity. Not the worst, not the best. The product on my chin, you can see what I'm talking about there with the slight moving around. I've lost coverage on my nose, like I said, had to blow my nose 500 million thousand gazillion times. The product as concealer seems to have also faded a bit. The forehead area I feel like I can see my micro wrinkles a little bit more than usual. That also might be somewhat attributed to the glow of the bronzer that I wore, the Lawless Summer Skin, so I will, I will not take that as something the foundation did because it could potentially just be more visible because of the shimmer of that bronzer product but generally speaking I would say this is comfortable it's not sticky I like the amount of coverage I wish it had a bit more longevity because I'm like a 12 to 14 hour day person and I am not someone that touches up their makeup I do not touch my complexion once it's on it's got to last me until I come home and wash my face that's just that's just how I roll you know Yes, I put on a full face most days, but I would not call myself high maintenance because it's the only time I spend doing my makeup. I don't do it all day long. So if I had to give a grade to the Mob Beauty, love the skincare in it. It's got some pros. Eh, got a little, a few little cons. I'm going to give it a B plus. I really like it. I will wear it. I will test it out and see if wearing powder helps it stay put or gives it a little bit more longevity. That would be, you know, a little bit more longevity and staying put would put it over into the A range for me. It's very close, very close. High B plus is where I'm at with it right now. There you have it, another episode of Foundation Fest is in the books. If you like foundation reviews, if you had fun with this one, give me a thumbs up down below and let me know in the comments. What do you want to see next? What foundations would you like to see? I know I am way behind on updating the foundation spreadsheet. I have that on my list of things to do. It will happen. I have some plans for kind of expanding the spreadsheet so it's more than just a spreadsheet, but we'll get to that another day. That's, that's in the works. That's part of my fall projects as we move forward. But let me know in the comments what you would like to see next, what's coming out, what came out that I haven't reviewed yet that you would like me to check out. I keep a running list and I buy them whenever I can. As always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye. Thank you.